guys we are back in make an interactive website unit 2 javascript so let's get started here so it's just showing us a few if statements um, you should be familiar with if and else we'll check uh, showing us about how to do variables should be familiar with that uh, showing us how to, that we can change things with math operators, pluses and minuses and fractions and all that sort of stuff. So that should be familiar as well. It's just basic math. So let's see. Create a variable named Jordan and set it equal to 23. So var Jordan equals 23. There we go. Don't forget the semicolon. All right, your variables can also store if pieces of text are called strings. Strings are in a certain text with quotes. So we know what strings are. Um, there's our tweet. Semicolon to end it. Okay. Dot length will get the total length of your string or whatever else you're trying to get the length of. All right, we know that. Um, here are comparisons, greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to, all those sort of things. Again, this is all should be somewhat review if you've taken any sort of programming language. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me while I spill monster on my face. By the way, monster, please reach out and sponsor me. Anyhow. Um... So create a variable named topic and set it equal to JavaScript and jQuery. So var topic equals JavaScript and jQuery semicolon. There we go. Cool. Um, we can use comparisons to write programs that ask yes or no questions. Say we want to write a program that asks whether your, your name is longer than seven letters. If the answer is yes, we're small. Do you have a long name? So if we're just using those operators to do if else statements. Again, more variables with if else statements. So we can extend the if else statement to ask else if. So if name is greater than or equal to 15, print this. And if it, it's not, else if. If it's greater than or equal to 7, print this. Else, print this. So else if might be the only uh, confusing thing here is but um, basically if this doesn't pass it tests this but if this does pass it doesn't test it if you were just do two if statements it would uh, it would run them both and we don't want that sometimes we don't want that so how to create functions so you know create a variable set it equal to a function add the parameters and whatever else you want to do in, in the function function is run by calling its name and giving it input values you see right here p1 call the percentage function and put parameters in it and it does some shit cool so apparently is that really our just making sure is that the whole section okay so that we just breeze through our javascript section um a lot it was review it was if else statements how to set up variables how to set up functions and if you're still a little bit you know you make a little bit of mistakes i i suggest just taking a little notepad like this a little, uh, and throwing in the examples um at the end of the day as long as you understand it logically looking at syntax won't uh shouldn't affect you but anyhow thank you for watching it looks like uh in the next one events we'll be uh using events are kind of like on click or hover over stuff and we'll be using that to make our site more interactive in the future all right thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next